Uba Uba Hop Zigzag Hop, here comes my friend Jungle lap, we must defend Uba Uba, his strategy His call, his philosophy Wow, things really grow fast around here. I don't know if my good old tree levator is even gonna work. On the contrary, Hector, it looks like the vegetation protected it from the elements. Thanks to your machine, we'll be able to hang this planter with way up high seeds at the top of the tree. Then we can watch them sprout at the full moon. It'll be a scientific first. Mm -hmm. But what's going on here? I've never seen the Marsu's nest in such an awful state. Yoo-hoo! All aboard, little Marsu! You see, Aunt Diane? It's solid! Beep. I built it to last! Beep. Of course it won't last! The way up high flowers are ephemeral! They sprout, grow, blossom, and fade in a matter of hours! They're extremely delicate! You broke my tree levator. Just wait until I catch you. Mm. Oh, sure, go on and ignore me. Your mom is going to chew you out when she finds out what you... Uh. Mm. Aunt Diane, did you see Mrs. Marsu? Looks like there's a problem. Yes, you're quite right. We'll have to repair the tree levator if we're going to plant the way up high seeds in time. Normally, she would have scolded them for making such a mess. What's wrong with her? Oh, she needs a nap. A little rest will do her a world of good. Yes, but I saw inside the nest. It's a total mess. With three kids? I'd say that's normal. And her flowers are all shriveled up and wilted? That's not like her. Uh-oh. Sounds like depression to me. Or lack of magnesium. I'll make her a nice cup of herbal tea. Marsu? I get the feeling that Mrs. Marsu isn't quite herself. Yeah, you should come take a look. She's acting weird. Mm? Oba. Huh? Marsu, I'm talking about your beloved and you're chasing butterflies? Yeah. Oba. Marsu, what do you say we go see Mrs. Marsu now? Oba. Obi. Uh, uh, Oba. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Oh, a rock nut. What's going on up there? Hector, would you please test the tree levator and take this herbal tea up to Mrs. Marsu? Mm -hmm. She looks really bored. Marsu spends all his time playing and having fun. Why doesn't she do the same thing? You know, Hector, I pamper my plants. I take care of them. But if I didn't, they'd just wither away and fade. Aunt Diane, I'm talking about the Marsus, and you're talking about... Oh, you mean we better tell Marsu right, right so away? Fast, Hector, let's wait a bit. Let nature take its course.
Mm -hmm. Oh, me. Uh, we may have to give nature a helping hand, don't you Whee! think? <laughs> Mrs. Marsu has an advantage mm -hmm. over my plants. When she feels like she's wilting, she says something or screams it. I think things will improve now. <laughs> Okay, you're going to find Mrs. Marsu, and who's supposed to take care of the little Marsus while you're gone? Feed BB Bobo Bibu three, four, five, seven times a day? Lick the children clean? Be on the lookout for the jaguar. <laughs> you wanted to give nature a helping hand. Now here's your chance. <laughs> my little Hector babysitter. Or should I say, Marsu sitter. <laughs> you can count on me. I'll take care of everything. These Marsu palamis are full of surprises. It's time for our Marsu to play oh, Romeo once more. Really? Oh. Our friend Marsu must court Mrs. Marsu all over again, just like the first time they met. Coming back. <laughs> Aha! Ten years I've been tracking those Marsus. This time I'm not leaving Palombia without catching one. And that's a back alive promise. Hmm. <laughs> oh, on dropping, and I stepped on it with my left foot. The savages around here say that's good luck. Here's the schedule. Wake up to music, relax, constructive playtime, culinary tasting, nap, thematic field trip, for example, our friends the insects, and then we'll have sports, including leaping from branches, long jumps, and high jumps. Uh, no, wait. Uh, track and field. Uh, scratch that. Potato sack races, uh, then swimming, snack time, and uh, tomorrow, a short jog, then fruit picking, recess, then return to camp for snack time, and nest cleaning. So, isn't my chart great, my little overachievers? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're a great Marsu sitter, Hector, but I don't think the Marsu babies need us to find them things to do. You'll see. It's probably a really good idea to keep them on a tight schedule. Come on, fall in line, single file. <laughs> Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Intuition tells me uh, to go that away. You're sorry, but I'm not really mad, you know. Uh, Baba! Huh? Yes, of course I know your parents went away. That's why I'm taking care of you. Baba! Ba, ba. You're scared? Don't worry. I'm here to protect you. Uh, the Marsu baby's parents are gone? I'm gonna hit the jackpot! Baba! Baba! for the right moment to pounce and then I'll capture all three. <laughs> shut, remove it from the tree, and take off with it. No one will be the wiser, and I'll simply disappear. I'm coming. Don't cry. Hector's on the way. Oh, 
Afraid of the dark? I thought so. I've been waiting for this moment for ten years, huh? This is almost too easy. Well, here you are. And now, that's enough. This is the last time I'm coming up here. I sure hope so. I can't take it, Aunt Diane. They're not going to sleep. You know, Hector, they're not adults. And they're certainly not humans. But they are babies. If you have any suggestions... You were quite a handful yourself when you were little. Between the two of us, we should be able to keep those three little naughty rascals in line. So, I was a handful when I was a kid? Hmm. Cool. Sleep, sleep, little baby. Sleep, sleep, I am here with you. Hey, that's the lullaby you used to sing to me. Yes, and it did the trick every time. <laughs> sleep, sleep, little baby. They're all sleeping. That was worth the ten year wait. Booba! Booby! Booba! Marsu, you're back? Booba! Booby! Beebe! A parrot? But what's going on? Did you bring the parrot this way? Wow, that's amazing! It's. Mr. and Mrs. Marsu sent a message to their kids using this parrot. Hey, baby Marsu! <laughs> I got a message for you from your parents! Hey! Aunt, Aunt, Aunt Diane! The Marsu's nest has disappeared! Oh, oh, Hector, calm down. The nest can't have. Hector! Ah, the nest has disappeared! Footprints! No one, and I mean no one, goes around kidnapping the Marsu babies on our watch, I swear, or my name isn't Diane Forrest! Hmm. Hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, and my way up high sprouts are squashed as well! I'll never see them bloom! <clears throat> Aunt Diane, here's another trail that'll be a lot easier to follow. Mm. 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 that thing all night. I thought I was never gonna find my way back. Doggone it! I better ration my supplies. It's a long way back to civilization. I love meat, even canned meat. Sleep, 
Sleep, my little Marsu. <laughs> Will you stop already? You've been crying for over an hour. <laughs> Cry all you want. I can't hear you. I can't believe it. He doesn't realize the little Marsus are hungry. But now he can't hear. <clears throat> this is going to make rescuing the babies much easier. <clears throat> We're going home. What? What? I'm I'm sinking. <laughs> nice day, isn't it? Oh. Whoa! <sighs> yes, I'm coming. We're going to play after I've slept for at least a whole day. Baby! Hey, don't you wander off too far, okay? Oh, baby! Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Marsu, they're back! So happy to see you, Marsu! Welcome back! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like that short vacation did you both a world of good! <laughs> mm. Oh! Flowering way up high plants! Thank you! This is wonderful! Oh, they've just wilted before my very eyes! Magnificent! I've waited my whole life! See this beautiful, rare phenomenon? Thank you. It's so pretty. I love souvenirs. Oh, yes, we have something to tell you, but it's nothing serious. Yes. Hector will tell you all about it. In the meantime, I need to rest. Uh, would you mind taking care of Hector for me for a few days? Uba uba hop.